Hey everybody, this is Hoover with Cryptic Technology and I was just wanted to uh, kind of give you some information about a product I came across uh, a while ago, a long time ago. It's a Arctic Clean 2-in-1 Thermal Paste Cleaner. Now the reason I have this is because um, I just swapped out a H60 Corsair cooling, all-in-one cooler, with a new uh, H100i V2 on my uh, Ryzen system. But I figured while I had this and, and was getting ready to clean it up to put it away for to uh, store it for another project, I just wanted to show you guys how this how these uh, how this Arctic Clean system worked. It's got one bottle which is a thermal material remover and another bottle which is a thermal surface purifier. Uh, basically one cleans off the thermal paste and the other one preps the surface for your next application of thermal paste. So I just wanted to kind of show this off. Um, I'm not being endorsed by them. I just think it's a really good product for, you know, if you do have a lot of processes you clean off or say in this case where you have to clean it up and, and put it in the storage. So first off, take the first bottle. I'm just going to put it right on here. And it really only takes a few drops, but I usually put some on, kind of let it sit in, but we'll start, start cleaning this off. And Really the first thing I do is just kind of mix it into the, the thermal paste that's there, kind of glob off any excess that's in there. And I'm just using just a regular Q-tip. A few more drops here. Now that I've got kind of the larger chunks off of here, I'll just start rubbing it in to the thermal paste. And as you can see, it's kind of thinning it out. It, it does... The nice thing about it is it does have a, uh, a pleasant orange smell, so it's not like anything toxic or, or anything like that. So then I'll take this second one and start wiping off the thermal paste here. And really it just loosens up that, that kind of crusty thermal paste, you know how over time if you have had thermal paste on a processor for quite some time that thermal paste will get usually uh, hard and, and kind of crusty to, to get off of there. And then we'll just do one more time. And this time I like to take a microfiber cloth and then just just clean it right off. And this will work on these surfaces with the AIOs or say for example if you do have a processor you want to either put it in a holder or leave it in the motherboard when you do this just so you're not damaging any pins or anything like that or or harming any surfaces and then if you see it is kind of still kind of dull there is a little bit of that uh, that thermal paste on on there kind of a residue so that is what bottle number two is for the surface purifier Now with this, just put a few drops on, say four, then I get another clean corner on my towel, I just wipe that in. And you'll notice that that surface goes from, say, a really dull finish to like a super kind of polished finish. Let's see if I can kind of get that in there. But it does clean off a, a lot of that that thermal paste and, and gets the surface just ready for the next batch. So there, just like so. All right. Well, once again, it was called the Arctic Clean. Um, I'm not sure what the 
technical name is, I'll, I'll look it up and, and put it in the comments and such and even put a link to it. It was the Arctic Clean kind of thermal paste removal system or removal product. Uh, it's quick, it's easy, really no mess from it, and it's nice and clean. It uh, gives a nice orange scent, so it's it's not like it's a harsh chemical aroma or anything like that, or and not very harmful or anything to you. So, all right. Well, if you did enjoy this, I uh, just wanted to kind of give you a a little quick example of you know just cleaning off if you do clean off a lot of thermal paste or or if you plan on swapping out an AIO from say you know a a 60 to say a a 120, maybe a 240, that kind of thing. This one's a, a 120, and or I believe it's a 140, but it's the H60, and then I upgraded to an H100i V2 from my Ryzen system. Uh, I've used this on several applications. Works great. Haven't had any issues. The new thermal paste goes on real smooth. Processor cleans up to where it's almost like a mirror finish like like it was brand new out of the box so it is something to consider if you do have kind of some hard thermal paste you just can't seem to to clean off or you know say the a lot of people like to use coffee filters and and alcohol and such but i think the alcohol is kind of a you get that harsh kind of smell with it and such but it does evaporate this evaporates about the same i mean like right now it's dry to the touch so and I know I'll probably have to clean that again <laughs> since I just touched it with my oily hands, but really that's a it gives you a nice clean finish and with no harsh odor. Now if you don't like orange, sure that may be annoying, but it is kind of a kind of better than any of the harsh chemicals that could give you a headache and such. So alright, well if you did enjoy the video, please like, possibly consider subscribing. Um Leave a comment down below if you if you do enjoy the video, if you have any other suggestions or or any other tips or tricks to to do that. Uh, really, I'm just kind of cleaning it up so I can put it in storage and until uh, I build my next system and I'll probably attach this to it. I've got a a little small system I'm putting together, but really that's all there is to it.